So we got Ghostbusters 2 pitch meeting. Oh, you have a new Ghostbusters for me? Yes, sir, I do. So this takes place five years after the original. The Ghostbusters are out of business and people don't believe in ghosts anymore. But a bunch of ghosts attacked the city and there was a giant marshmallow man. Five years is a long time, sir. People forget stuff. <laughs> but that? <laughs> well, sir, the thing is, yes. Sir. Well, okay then. So they all have various new jobs. Egon runs experiments on children. What? Ray and Winston, they go to children's homes together. What? And Bankman hosts a TV show where he lets two people talk for less than a minute each and then he the show. He hosts a two-minute TV show? Apparently so, sir. So one day Dana is out with her new baby, and after she rolls into some pink slime, the carriage gets possessed. Oh, is Zool after her again? No, totally different ghost thing. She just happens to roll in some haunted pink slime. Okay. And she also works in the museum where the haunted portrait of this movie's bad guy, Vigo, is. She just coincidentally lives in the haunted apartment in the first movie and works with the haunted painting in this one. That's what we're going with. And she rolls in the pink slime. Uh -huh. A very unlucky lady, paranormally speaking. Yeah, so because of the crazy stroller thing, she contacts the Ghostbusters to help. Oh, again? Well, people like the first movie, sir, so I figure we do it again beat for beat, but slightly different. That works for me. So the Ghostbusters start excavating the street where the stroller got possessed, and when the cops try to... Oh, I tell you what. This scene right here was probably, like, my favorite scene, like, out of both movies, right? Like, that was just way too funny, okay? stop them they pretend to be construction workers weren't the ghostbusters yeah. national celebrities how don't they get recognized people forgot oh that's right so then underground ray <laughs> discovers a river of pink slime and accidentally breaks the thing that cuts out power to the city oh whoops whoopsie so now the ghostbusters have to go on trial because of all the damage and nobody believes them about the pink slime wouldn't workers need to go down to the pink slime area to fix the thing they broke they shut up and this judge is like i don't believe in ghosts you guys are liars <laughs> That is such a good point. I never thought about that before. They would have to go, like, repair whatever was broken, and they didn't see all the freaking slime down there? What? <laughs> oh, man. He forgot, but then some pink slime starts reacting and these two scary ghosts pop out and they look like scary cartoon characters. They don't even look human. Very scary. Yeah, and the judge is like, oh no, that's the Scolari brothers. Those guys hate me because I sentenced them to death. How does he recognize them if they don't look human? Unclear. So then the Ghostbusters save the day and suddenly everyone believes in ghosts again and they're back in business. Uh, so they go back to the River of Slime, check it out. No, they just do some odd ghost jobs for a while, make another couple of commercials. Oh, okay. And meanwhile, the painting of Vigo has possessed Dana's boss and commands him to find a baby. Why does he want a baby? So that he can take a physical form again. He'd be raised by Dana and her boss. So he'd be like super weak and tiny and need to have his diaper changed? Yeah, pretty scary, right? I guess. Anyway, so then the Ghostbusters <laughs> do check out the slime, but they get pulled into it. Uh-oh. And they come out of the sewer yelling at each other, and they're like, hey, this slime's negative energy is influencing us. There's no way we would be upset after almost drowning in the sewer. That's a logical conclusion to come to, sure. So they go tell Bankman about this. He didn't go with them? Is he not one of the Ghostbusters? Well, he is, but when he's on screen, it's gonna be more of the Dana thing, you know, the will they, won't they, they have, but will they again story. You know, I am less interested in the ghosts and more so in the rekindling. Also, Lewis, Tully, and Janine spend like the whole movie hooking up. What? So then the Ghostbusters go to tell the mayor <laughs> about the slime, but the mayor's assistant has them immediately committed to a psychiatric hospital, which is a thing you can do when you're the mayor's assistant. And why does he do that? Because in the first film, we had a government person being a jerk and getting them locked up, so we're doing that again, but slightly different. That makes sense. And meanwhile, the painting uh -huh. turns Dana's boss into a ghost, which is a thing he can do, and has him kidnap the baby from a side of a building. This painting guy seems really powerful as is. I don't know if he needs to become a baby. Well, he does, and so the baby gets brought to the museum, which gets covered in slime, and so do the streets. Oh, filling the streets with slime is tight. Okay, and so now there are ghosts everywhere. So does the slime make people angry or summon ghosts? Yes. I don't get it. So then the mayor releases the <laughs> Ghostbusters, because they gotta do something about this. Well, it's gonna be tough to do anything about vaguely powerful spooky slime. Actually, it's gonna be super easy barely an inconvenience oh really you see they figure out that since the slime reacts to the negativity of new yorkers they need to get the statue of liberty to make everybody happy get the statue how do they even get to the statue with the power of cutting directly to them being there okay that does usually work but how do they get the statue well they spray it with slime that they've infused with positive energy and that lets them control it and walk it down the streets of manhattan how could they have known that was even a possibility by believing what do you mean oh i don't know they just know oh okay so then they're able to smash their way into the museum 
museum and fight the bad guy. Oh boy. And then everybody in the street, they start singing and their positivity helps defeat the bad guy. Hell yeah, I love weaponizing positivity. So then the bad guy disappears and the painting is replaced by one of the Ghostbusters. Why? Because that's the uh, mystery of the... the the paranormal I don't care fair enough and so that's about it what do you think well it sounds like a movie it is and this story this is what all the stars want to do this bad boy is exactly what they all want to do Ghostbusters 2 was not the story they wrote says Bill Murray when asked about his participation in Ghostbusters 2 star Bill Murray states that the film's final story it's not what was originally written. I don't know what that means. So you guys, you know, fill in the blanks there. Let me know what was going on with that. <laughs> you know, either way, like, it was a phenomenal movie. Okay. You know, in my mind, it was a perfect sequel. Like, it was just a really good movie. And I... You know, this was a really good sketch, too. You know, and it is interesting to learn that Bill Murray says it's not the story that was originally written. Okay. But does that mean he preferred the original story? Or is he just saying, like, it was different? I have no idea. Okay. So, alright. That's it for now, y'all.